Muslim has ever done that. We've debated Muslims before. No Muslim has ever told me, Josh, I will accept your challenge only if you first prove that the Bible is the word of God. In fact, there are high ranking top Islamic scholars and debaters. They've never, y'all tell me in the chat, on Discord, on YouTube, on Rumble, have you ever seen a debate between a Christian and a Muslim with the Muslim saying, I won't debate you unless you prove that your Bible is valid first? Have you ever seen that? You ain't ever seen that. You ain't ever seen that. You ain't ever seen no Muslim say, a Muslim debater say, we'll only debate you if you prove that the Bible is the word of God first. Let me show you what's so funny, bro, right? It's funny how people try to paint a narrative and try to make you and me look like we're running from them when they're actually running from us, right? Sneeko's teacher or Iman, he ran from me. I want y'all to quote me on this. Um, Asala, you can clip this. He ran from me. I put out a challenge to any Muslim. A lot of y'all was in here when I said this. I said, I would annihilate any Muslim in a debate if we keep it in the Bible as it pertains to Muhammad or Islam being referenced in the Bible. Because I tell y'all all the time, I said that the Bible does not prophesy about Muhammad or Islam, and I don't do cross debates, on um, cross faith debates. Put a W in the chat if you ever heard me say I don't debate against other religions like Muslims and stuff because it's a waste of time. Everybody don't heard me say that. I said the only time I will debate against somebody of another religion in the Bible is if the topic is, does the Bible say something or not? You could be a Muslim or an atheist. If you claim the Bible says something or teaches something and I disagree with that, I will debate you. It's not about me trying to debunk Islam or debunk atheism. It's just a debate over whether the Bible says or teaches something or not. So I opened the challenge. Everybody heard me say it. I said I will annihilate. I said heads will roll. Right? I told Gideon to take the exact stipulation to sneak old teacher Uthman and see if he'd want to do that, right? Gideon did exactly what I asked him to do, to do and this is what Uthman did. Uthman said, well, yeah, we can debate that, but only if you're willing to debate us on if the Bible is valid first. So we're just saying, let's debate this first, and then we agree to your stipulation that Sneeko agreed to, that we'll have a debate saying we're using only the Bible about the reference of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam so, in the Bible. Now, how is it that I challenge him on a certain topic and he and he denies that, but the Muslims figure I'm running? If I issue out a challenge and you say, no, thank you, I'm out of one running, right? I'm out of, y'all make it make sense for me. See, this is how sadistic and snakish these people are. And the challenge is still open. My big bro, um, Zaynab is right here now, right? He will tell you, big bro, have I ever ran from any debate challenge, Muslim or otherwise? Have I ever done that? Well, you not still only up? are you known as a habitual non-runner, I just posted a link to a debate where Josh washed a Muslim imam a decade ago on the exactly. Quran. Debate a Muslim before. Just so y'all know. I, mm -hmm. I've debated Muslims before. These guys don't know me, and they know a lot of y'all don't know me. So they're trying to create this false narrative about me because they know a lot of y'all don't know my history. I've washed up Muslims plenty of times. No problem. Easy. Light work. Light work. So what they want to do is they want to lie and try to make it seem like I'm afraid of them. That's why they're making videos and clipping stuff and taking stuff I said out of context and making me say stuff that I didn't say. Uthman ran from me. The other dude that made that video, Gideon went in his comment section and laid out the stipulations and he ran from it. The Gideon got the whole it. screenshot of it. Ain't nobody running from these clowns. These clowns are running from us and they know they're running from us. Hey Josh, hey Josh, just let me say this. Just because you Muslim don't mean that you're worthy of a debate. Josh is a teacher who runs an organization that is over a decade or more old. He has students and disciples and preaches Jesus. 
So if you not a teacher, don't challenge my bro and think that we going to take you seriously. But if you are a serious Muslim, go get your teacher, at least your uncle or your daddy or somebody. Get somebody who's certified so that at least the debate will mean that Muslims who are learning under that Muslim can hear the truth about Jesus Christ in the Bible and hopefully repent of their sins and not understanding the son of God and become true followers of the true and living God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Exactly. But see, this is what they got to do, um, big bro. These Muslims, even though they don't know me, they're still smart enough to recognize that they can't beat me in a real debate. That's why they're lying on me and Gideon, and that's why Uthman would not accept my challenge. And it wasn't even a direct challenge specifically to Uthman. I just simply said, any Muslim who believes they can prove that Muhammad is referenced in this Bible, like prophesied or referenced in this Bible, I will annihilate them. If we just keep it in the Bible, heads will roll. I said that. I stand by that. I took that. I gave that message to Gideon and Usman saw it and he wiggled and said no. When I first told Sneeko, because first Sneeko was saying that the debate was on something else. I told him, this is what Brother Josh fully said. And Sneeko said, oh, yeah, Ufman would uh, do any debate. It doesn't matter. He'll do anything. I said, I, this is, I texted Sneeko this at 5.13 p.m. Brother Josh said he would annihilate any Muslim who claims they can show that Muhammad is mentioned or prophesied in the Bible. So let's do that it. That is documented in the original video, and that Great. challenge still stands. Great. Whatever stipulations he wants, we can do it. We can do so it on your tour. We can do it on whatever terms. You agree to these stipulations. Yes. In the debate. He calls him and he comes in and I let him know. I tell him what the challenge was and what the debate was about. He heard it. He was like, cool. Yeah. I only have one stipulation. He was like, first, we need to figure out if this is actually the word of God. It was more of a lions of like, you know, Deuteronomy 18, 18, not speaking of Muhammad and who the comforter is. And if like the songs of Solomon verse actually speaks of Muhammad and along okay. those lines, that's what it was about. So could we could we first take a step back and say, OK, is the Bible the word of God? Can we start with that? And then because he, he was like, well, there's no point really? in having this debate if we can't figure out this is the word of God. So let's figure out this is the word of God first and then we can do your debate. And I was like, wait, so we got to do your debate first. We have to do a whole different debate and we have to do your debate first for you to do accept the challenge that you're already quote unquote accepted. And he was like, it's only one stipulation. I'm like, that's two stipulations because it's a debate. And it's a stupid, a new it's a stupid stipulation too. That's a stupid stipulation. If I say right now, any Muslim who think they can prove that Muhammad is referenced in the Bible using only the Bible, come on the stage right now. If you come on the stage, you can't come on the stage and be like, well, Josh, I'll do that, but you have to do that first, do this first, or do that first. No, this is how open challenge works. Now, if you challenge somebody specifically, then they can negotiate stipulations with you. Do y'all understand that? Give me a W if y'all understand the difference in the chat. Because you put an open challenge out there, and they want to tell you what your stipulations of the open challenge got to be. If I would have, if I would have told Gideon specifically, I want to debate Uthman on Muhammad being referenced in the Bible. And then Uthman was like, well, I'll debate you on that. If you debate me on the Bible being valid first, then he has a valid reason to say that because I singled him out and I asked for him specifically. But if I put an open challenge out there and I'm not aimed at anybody specifically, then how in the world Uthman gonna be like, well, I'll only answer your challenge if you debate me on this first. It's an open challenge. If it's an open challenge, you either accept the stipulations or you don't. It's that simple. So what did so what did Oofman do? I sent Gideon over there as an ambassador of goodwill, and Oofman on flip the script, and now he got these idiotic Muslims, these fanboys, not all Muslims, just the ones that bind into his BS. He got these idiotic fanboys believing that I ran from him, that Gideon ran from them. No. They're taking two things I said and they're taking them out of context, right? I told y'all I don't do cross-faith debates. 
Brother John, do not do any Islam versus Christianity debates. I don't do no Bible versus atheism debates. I used to, so I don't do them anymore. They're a waste of time. But if anybody of any background says that this Bible is teaching something or saying something that I don't think it is, then if they want to debate me on that, I will debate them on that. It ain't got anything to do with me trying to debunk their belief or lack thereof. All I'm saying is you're lying about what the Bible says. That's all I'm saying. And that's what I put on the table. And these Muslims who follow Uthman and Sneeko are so stupid that they can't even tell who's really running. If I come in your neighborhood and I'm like, who wants some? And everybody run, how am I the coward? Y'all ever make, make it make sense to me? If I do that, how am I the one who's running? Gideon did. Gideon went over there and said, Brother Josh, um, stipulations was he won debate the validity of Muhammad being, you know, in the Bible. And Uthman said, okay, we can do that, but if we do this first, no, you don't get to do that, bro. This is a challenge. Now, if you make a challenge, Uthman or Sneeko, then you make the stipulations, and if I agree with them, then I'll accept your stipulations. But you don't get to tell Josh how to do Josh. And that's the problem. These guys be trying to low-key trying to sign us like they're superior to us and trying to handle me like I'm they like I'm they kid or something. Like they're trying to get you in the no, dude. debate that night. We'll do it right now. Like I said, I didn't tell him beforehand. We didn't need to give him any conditions. I, he called him up and he was here. I think we should, I think we should bring him into the call. I think just bring him into the call. Like I'm, I'm getting like you, you, your bring voice. Your you're, 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 just bring you're him in. Frustrated, Sneeko. Like I was over there giving them the stipulations, and then they were like, at first Sneeko was like, "Oh, let's run it tonight. Let's do it tonight." And I was like, "I texted you four hours before. You left me on red, and now you're talking about." I told him before. I said, "If you guys accept these stipulations, we'll let you guys know when we do it in the future, and we'll give you guys a heads up way beforehand." But then he does. He leaves me exactly. on red. And then whenever we get on stream, he makes it seem like, let's do it right now. You already you put it out there. Let's say right now. I was like, bro, A, you're accepting it. Your your teacher hasn't accepted it. And then B, I was like, Sneakyo, you don't even know the full stipulation. So how are you going to relay the information? And he was butchering the, what the stipulations even were. So he called his pastor. He joined. And I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to tell him what the stipulations are. If he accepts, he accepts. If he doesn't, he doesn't. It wasn't no thing of like, oh, dang, he ran from, he didn't like the stipulations. If he didn't like it, he didn't like it. He accepted. He was like, oh, yeah, I like them. But first, let's figure out if this is and the word And then he tried God. to tweak it. Do you want me to show you the clip of what he said in the video so no, you no, can no, see no, what no, his... No, no, I'm good. I'm, I'm just saying, can you offer your pastor to have a debate on, on saying, is this the word of God? Right. And, and, and here's another thing, too, Gideon and Big Bro. Has any Muslim that I've debated ever tried to make that a stipulation before I debated them that I got to prove that the Bible is the valid word of God? Has any Muslim ever done that? No. No Muslim has ever done that. I've debated Muslims before. No Muslim has ever told me, Josh, I will accept your challenge only if you first prove that the Bible is the word of God. In fact, there are high-ranking top Islamic scholars and debaters They've never, y'all tell me in the chat, on Discord, on YouTube, on Rumble, have you ever seen a debate between a Christian and a Muslim that the Muslim said, I won't debate you unless you prove that your Bible is valid first? Have y'all ever seen that? You ain't ever seen that. You ain't ever seen that. You ain't ever seen no Muslim say, a Muslim debater say, we'll only debate you if you prove that the Bible is the word of God first. If that ain't the biggest talk, Josh, it don't make sense because the first See, order on. tells them to respect the book and the people of exactly. the book. Exactly. And it names the prophets. Oofman is the coward here, y'all. Don't let that dude try to sell y'all wolf tickets. That dude running from me. And he knows it. That's why he's trying to get online and make people think that. All of these Muslims. I don't got one Muslim, and I ain't going to put his name out there yet until it's officially set up, that said he would debate me under the stipulations. Once he gets back at me, I'm going to let everybody know who it is. But I only had one Muslim that reached out to me, and he seemed like a respectable brother, and he's a teacher and a scholar, who said that he'd be willing to debate me under the stipulations. He didn't start trying to come up with all these other stipulations like Uthman did. That's what a coward does to an open challenge. Now, just because you don't accept anybody's open challenge, that don't mean you're afraid of them. I don't want y'all to mistake what I'm saying.
But if you accept somebody's open challenge, you don't start trying to tweak their rules. You're trying to get out of something. You follow what I'm saying? Oh, he in the chat right now. Is that him? Say, I am proven Islam. I think that's him. Bring him up. There you go. There he is. Yeah. Abraham, how you doing, brother? I'm good. Now, now watch this, y'all. Appreciate it too, Abraham. Now, Abraham, you are a Muslim, right? Correct? Yes. Yes. Abraham, when you said you were willing to debate me, did I hesitate or give any indication that I didn't want to do it? Nope. Did you try to come up? Now, this is a Muslim, y'all. This is a Muslim, a real one. Did you try to tell me, Abraham, that you would only debate me if I prove the validity of the Bible first? Did, I, did, did you say any of that to me or did you just say, yo, run it? Which one did you do? So uh, I just accepted the debate challenge as was. But just to be fair to uh, Sheikh Uthman, a couple things. Number one, this is not really a topic that he deals with. And secondly, like Sneeko accepted it on his behalf. So I think it's fair if Sheikh Uthman wanted to do it a different way. I understand that as well. But from my perspective, I I'm comfortable talking about this topic. So but the, you, know, right. you, know, the, you know, the thing now, about it is... That's cool. He just didn't have to. He didn't have to say he, he should have just said that. He could have just said that. That's the thing about it. We wouldn't have said yeah, nothing. I, I, we wouldn't have been like, oh, he's running from us because he's not. He just does. If you don't like a term of a challenge, then he just heard of it right then and there. And he said, let's do it. But let's do what I want to do first. You can't do that. You know what I mean? If he would have said, nah, I don't like the terms of those uh, debates. Hey, it's all good, man. Have a blessed night. Sorry, Sneaker, I have to wake you and, up. And I don't do that. And Abraham, I don't do that. I don't start hounding and clowning people just because they don't want to do something with me. But what the brother could have done, Uthman, he could have either said, nah, that ain't really my cup of tea. I, I got a brother named Abraham who I can recommend. That's kind of more his thing. You debate him on that. But Josh, would you be willing to debate me on the Bible being valid? And I would have been like, well, let me see how this going to do right here, and I'll get back to you. Well, you uh, know, I, I would saying... be interested to see a debate uh, between you and Sheikh Uthman if you want to do that as well on a different topic. But uh, on the topic you made the open challenge for, I'm ready to uh, debate that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I'm ready for you. That's why I'm like anybody. I stand by what I say. And you meet the criteria, right? I said any Muslim who wants to debate me and show from the Bible only that Muhammad is referenced, prophesied, um, alluded to, whatever word you want to use, in the Bible, using the Bible, proving that I will annihilate them. That's what I said. I stand by that. I said heads will roll. That's what I stand by. And I even told Gideon the only um, way they can go in the Quran that's allowed is just to go in the Quran to show that the Quran does say that Muhammad is mentioned in the Injil and the Torah. That's only fair that I let them at least prove that. So the Muslims yeah, can I see that I that claim is made. Well. Right. Oh, I've seen you, I've seen your content, bro. Oh, uh, okay. I've, I've, I've seen you, I've seen your content, bro. And just for the record, everything you've said, I heard it 20 years ago. Just what so you I, said. What have I said that you've seen before? Uh, the way um songs oh, of Solomon. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, hold on, we, we can't with that. No, no, we can't give it out tonight. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Going, I'm, no, I'm not going into no information. I'm just letting him know where he went. The references. I'm just letting you know about the references. <laughs> no problem. No. Let you know about the references. We can't. We, no we can't give him. No, we can't yeah, do the, a debate the, right the, now. The, 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 the power of Clatos. The power of Clatos. I've heard it all, bro. I'm just letting you know. We'll see it in the debate if we end up doing it. Inshallah. No, we will. We will definitely. Uh, uh, we'll said, let you know said, way well, beforehand. You know, God we'll willing. You... God willing everything. God oh. willing everything. That's yes, what he's saying. Uh, I've sent uh, bro Josh uh, sent uh, a request, a friend request. So uh, we can. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Hey, can I wait? Ibrahim. Uh, Ibrahim. Yeah. Did I say it right? Yeah. When Can I ask you a question? Hey, sure. When you seen brother Josh's stipulation when he made the claim, did you understand from the video what he was putting out for? Well, uh, so to be honest, the way I came across this mm -hmm. is that actually my brother was uh, watching your live stream with Sneeko, something like that, and I just asked him what, you know, what, what are you, uh, what are you watching? And he told me that 
what you guys were talking about. Then I said, what about religion? And he told me that it's a, a discussion on the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, in the Bible. And then right after that, I had a DM from someone asking me to do the debate. So to be honest, I was already, I already knew going in what the sort of topic okay. was. I just, yeah. Okay, okay. I was, I was just curious if you've seen it from the video, but you heard it in bypass. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, I'm just saying I, I, watching the video, I already knew what I was, what it was about. But, oh, so uh, you, even when you watched the video, you could tell what it was about. Yeah, uh, yeah, if you watched I the told you, video, Gideon. Yeah. I told you, Gideon. I told you the guy left enough information in there for people to understand what I was saying. He just left it in there and misinterpreted. Ibrahim just said himself. And that's the reason why. Um, did you know the other brother who first recommended you to me? Do you know who that brother is, Ibrahim? You know what I'm talking about, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You, you know him, right? Yeah. That's why he recommended you, Ibrahim, because your channel specializing in proving Muhammad from the Bible. That's why he recommended you. So that means yeah. even your guy. That means yeah. even your guy understood the challenge. So why is everybody walking around, not you, Ibrahim, not all Muslims in general, but why are all of these other Muslims walking around lying on me and Gideon saying that we're running from Sneeko and Oofman when everybody can clearly see that Oofman is not, don't want anything to do with what I put out there as a challenge, but you do. How, how am I the coward? Yeah, so well, what does that make you, Ibra So what does that make you, Ibrahim? If he don't want the challenge and you accepted it, what does that make you in the grand scheme of things? What? I'm just asking. What does that make you? I, know, I know what it makes me, but what does it make you? I guess it just makes me the acceptor of the challenge. But I'll I mean, I mean, I mean, relatively You're being speaking, modest, like, man. It makes you. A, it makes you a real one, bro. You you stepped up to the plate. It makes you a real one. It I makes you a real one. You're not trying to wiggle the entire uh, one and a half hour stream because I watched like 30 minutes of it and it just felt to me like it was the same thing over and over again. You were saying, uh, Jidian was saying that, you know, you made, you had your stipulations and they were saying, we're agreeing to your stipulations, but we want to do our debate first. And it, it just felt like the same thing for 30 minutes. At, at some point, I just felt like... You're right about that. Yeah. Ibrahim. It definitely should not have went on that long. I told Gideon about that and Gideon admitted that, you know, he shouldn't have done that. But here's the thing though. I want to go on the record and let y'all know that number one, I have nothing personal personal against Muslims. I told Gideon about you, Ibrahim. I said, I like this guy's spirit. He seems like a respectable brother. I can't wait, you know, to do business with him, right? But I want to go on the record and say Ibrahim did not try to wiggle out or change any stipulations because he knows you do not have to prove that the Bible is valid to have this particular debate. It's completely irrelevant. Well, if he th if, if that were the case, he I already that. I already believe that the Bible has some validity. You know, like I don't believe that the Bible is 100% the word of God, but I believe it has a lot of the words of God in it. Usman so, believes that too. You know, Usman believes that too, right? Yeah, yeah. So okay, so but Ibrahim, my my point is not whether you believe it's completely corrupt or partly or whatever. My point is you did not think that was relevant to you accepting the debate. Otherwise, you would have told me the same thing he did, right? Well, I mean, at the I was surprised to see that Sheikh Usman did agree to debate to do your topic as well. So. I mean that I I totally think that if if you no, I'm about in the Ibrahim. I'm talking about in the order of operation. Let me ask you like this: leaving leaving Ufman out. This is my question to you: Do you think I have to validate the Bible completely, a hundred percent, as the Word of God before we can do this debate? Yes or no? Well. I don't think you have to prove that it's 100% pristine and every word in it is from God. Thank you. That's all That's all I needed. That's all I needed. Thank you. Because yeah. uh, And it's clear that you don't think that. But Otherwise, I you would not have to accept my debate. Why, I do understand why he would want to do that debate first, because um, there, are like, there are like some things that are relevant in terms of epistemology when you're looking at processes. For example, um, you know, 
the way a Jew would read the Old Testament, right? So he's just got the Tanakh, right? But now a Christian. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if I was debating this uh, uh, topic with a Jew, so I would be dealing with a certain canon. But if I'm dealing with Christians, now there's some extra information they believe. And the, the New Testament might have some specific interpretations of the Old Testament. And then there's uh, questions of like, which do you accept all the books? Like as a Muslim, do you want to give more authority to all the books? Some Muslims argue that we should give more authority to the actual words of Jesus as opposed to just anything that the gospel authors say, whatever. So the point I'm making is epistemology can actually be quite relevant in this discussion. So I totally understand from his perspective that he wanted to do that first. But again, that's between you guys and him. As well, for me, I, 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 I can understand. I can understand from his perspective, too. I'm not knocking his perspective, Ibrahim. I'm not knocking his perspective. That's his prerogative. What I'm saying simply is this. You and no other Muslim I've ever debated ever put that out there first as a stipulation to debate on a topic in the Bible. No Muslim, and I know you probably got experience debating with Christians, and I know you know of other Islamic scholars that has experience debating with Christians. Unless the debate itself is the Bible valid, no other Muslim has ever put that out as a stipulation before they will debate anything in the Bible. We have um, Muslims coming on Discord all the time. Probably saw them in the chat right now, ready to get on the stage. And they will tell you, Josh, we will talk to you about anything about Islam and the Bible. You don't have to try to prove to us that the Bible is valid. We'll debate you on anything. He's the first person to ever do that. And I see that as him trying to wiggle out of something that he knew he couldn't stand up to. You are not like that. That's why he was like, cool, I will take the challenge. You don't got to say it. You ain't got to throw him under the bus as a fellow Muslim. I get it. But in your heart, you know that there is no reason for me to have to debate him on that first. It's not necessary. Well, it uh, may be preferred, but it's yeah, not necessary. Well, to be, yeah, it's not well, necessary. It's preferred, but it's not necessary. I understand it from his perspective <laughs> and why he would think it's necessary. Like, for example, I know someone who wrote a book on this topic, and they spent, like, the first chapter discussing epistemology. And one of the reasons for that is some Muslims have this conception that the Bible is so corrupt, so changed, mm -hmm. that it's like, it's not worth quoting or there's like very well, little truth in it. So yeah, I don't mean uh, to interrupt you, Ibrahim, but huh? to, to cut it's a long kinda, story short, to, to, to cut a yeah. long story short is, you know, if he has those beliefs, he didn't have to accept the challenge. You know what I mean? Thank you. Well, uh, it's really that simple. That's just between you guys and him. I agree. I you know what? I, we can talk about that, but I think it's more interesting if we just talk right. about our debate, or maybe we. I agree. Do that in private or right. That, 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 at the end of the day, that is between us. But they're the ones going on social media saying that we're running from them. Maybe they are. Maybe they so are. How he, to be so honest, how, that, how does that make sense? I have not seen those. A social media post from either of you guys. I know someone made a video about it. I didn't watch it. To be honest, I don't right. watch too much of the. Right. Let, let, let me like, look. Hold well, on. Abraham, hold on. We one appreciate second. you hold for one. coming in and yeah. accepting the challenge, man. And you know, it's it's gonna be fun. We're, we're gonna let you know way ahead of the time when we're gonna get it going. But I think the moral of the story is, um, <laughs> it's awesome that we can get this debate going, man. We're excited, brother. Uh, we'll have a oh, one sheet. more thing too. Oh, Junior. What's up? And one, and one more thing too. The moral is also number one. This is not being facetious. Y'all give a lot of W's in the check from my brother Ibrahim because he's a real one. Y'all give a lot of good respect on his name. Hey, I appreciate gonna... the brother coming hey, on. To After I hearing all him. that, you, no one, no one can just say that. Uh, you know, actually, I think it was a blessing in disguise that you guys did have this conversation because, you know, people that aren't familiar with Ibrahim, they would have been like, oh, he just picked a random Muslim mm -hmm. to pick on. Like, you know, you were well, very well versed in the Quran yeah, and yeah. the Hadiths and all. I don't even know what a Hadith is. This is my first time hearing about that. So I got stuff to look up. But, um, you know, so I think this just put more respect on your name. So the uh, Muslim community can't, the Islam community can feel assured that you will represent the Quran to the best of your ability right. and the best of your ability is great. So 
I think that this is going to be great. And you got the character, and you got the character to go with it too. That's another thing that I like about this brother. He's we don't get any snakish vibes from him or serpentine vibes from him. He has a very humble and respectable spirit. I love talking to him, and most importantly, he helped me and you, Gideon, to clear up these lies that the other not so good Muslims on YouTube are spreading about us. He helped clear that up. Really, that was his intention or indirectly, he did do that. He showed that when he stepped to me and asked and said he'll take the challenge, he validated it's on the record that I, without hesitation, without hesitation, I immediately said yes and we'll keep it respectful. So I much love to this brother. But go ahead, I just want to put it out there, GDM. And brother, you know, we appreciate you. Can't wait to be your dance partner. We'll let you know way ahead of time when we're going to get it set up. But you be blessed, brother, and shalom. Thank you. Bye. Assalamu alaikum, Ibrahim.